William. William. No. Yes. Okay, so... No. Alright, so here's my problem with Final Fantasy VII, right? This game is too dark, right? <laughs> right? This game is dark. Okay, oh god, okay, we're going, we're going right into <laughs> yeah, it. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I'm not talking about it's dark from a story perspective, like, like it's a dark setting. No, the game is literally too dark for you to see it. This game has really bad lighting issues in areas where it's nearly impossible for you to see. So, so, so I have a bright TV. My TV is is on it's on average brightness. Like, like, like I'm not I'm not blind, so I had to, so I had to turn my brightness all the way to the max, right? Like you could see stuff in this game, right? If I were to play like like, like a night game, you could see that shit, right? Right. But the problem is uh-huh. this game is so the color balance is game is so fucking bad to the point where I had to do I had to do some night missions in this game, play, and you couldn't see shit. Like, oh, it was really bad to the point and my my and and i'm in a fairly lit room so so everything is is, is seeable right but this the night segment and the underground segment this game are so fucking bad that that i had to pause the game and turn the game's max brightness up all the way just so i could see shit in this game like god damn it, the fucking lighting direct in this game is so fucking bad at, at times <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, okay. All right. Nice to know. All right. So, all right. That's the Final Fantasy Dark Rant for today. Uh, tune in tomorrow for the <laughs> for the next rant. <laughs> to be fair, I think at the end Jesus of this, Christ, I'm probably dude. just gonna take all the audio clips of me ranting about Final Fantasy Seven Remake and just splice them together. <laughs> it will be just an incoherent, an incoherent review rant of the game that that's so that's out of that's out of so, pace. Uh, hey, what movie? So apparently, just like the game, apparently from how you're telling me this is going. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm almost done with the game. I have have more to talk about the game. But that's just me talking about the darkness of the game right now. God damn. I have so much to... Are you going to complain about the... Are you gonna complain about the brightness later on no, too? Probably. Is what's maybe. gonna happen? Maybe. Maybe. Oh no, oh, no, no, no. You were the worst oh. part about this game. Is still speaking about the lighting setting of the game. So, so you know when you go outside and come back inside, there's a whole lighting shift, right? It takes a while for your eyes to adjust, right? Yeah. The game does that shit. Uh-huh. When you go to a bright setting into a into a inside a building, it, it, the game takes like twenty seconds or takes like five seconds for for you for so it acts as if you're you're doing the. Your your eyes are okay. adjusting for no fucking reason. It, it doesn't have to do that shit. I don't know why they did. It's really annoying because I I was walking out of a house from a from a dark house into the mm-hmm. outside, and then when I walked outside, the game had to do the whole fake eye adjustment, uh, getting to know your side. It had to do that oh, dumb shit. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, this is so. I, I mean, what? I mean, to be to be honest though, like it's like I think they're trying to go with a lot of realism for it because okay, I, okay, wait, I remember wait, 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 wait. seeing this somewhere. Wait, 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 wait. But like, with, wait, wait, there's uh-huh. there's no fucking magic chicken running around or or giant or or girls with fat anime titties just running around, all right? In real life, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but like, no, that's my my. That's just, no, that's my thing though. Like, it, it, wasn't there like a whole thing where um. Like, uh, they're trying to get, like, down to, like, I don't know, something about, like, you can see veins and, no. like, cloud or something yeah, or whatever. Christ that's higher. how that's... I don't the... know. The, the only thing people want to see is, is how big Tifa's uh, titties are, but they downsized that in this game. Did you ever read that interview, by the no. way? No, uh, I didn't read the interview. I knew this was a thing. I didn't read the oh. interview of this, though. Okay, yeah, yeah, because so, cause Nomura wanted, wanted to have Tifa have big-ass, big, fat anime titties, but Screeny said, no, they're too big. We can't make them that big. He was like, What? I want them to be bigger. They're like, no, no more. You can't make them. You can't make her her, her, her fat anime titties this big of fat anime titties. He was like, damn it. He was crying. This feels. I, I, I feel like what you're telling me is like a joke. That's what I feel no, like right it's now. It's true. It's an actual thing. The more wanted fat anime titties on Tifa, but Square Enix told him no. He said no. You can't. Okay, you know, you know. Okay, you know what? Here's the thing, Austin. Just send me the goddamn link. Okay, Get I'm the... gonna read that later on. Okay, I have to find it. I'm gonna read that. <laughs> it's okay. You can look for that while while we talk about Bloodshot. Today's spoiler. Cast. Oh hey hey. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what we're talking about today. Yeah, today we're talking about uh, Venom, uh, Bloodshot, Venom. the new Vin Diesel movie. Yeah, that came out. that's yeah. With, with, yeah, with, okay, with, with no, Tom Hardy. Not, no, it's not. No, no, stop. Okay, it. you're right. Stop. This is upgrade. Wait, no, wait. it's not Tom Hardy. All right, all right, stop all right. You're right. This is upgrade with the guy that do- that's not Tom Hardy, but looks like Tom Hart, Tom Hardy. Oh my god! All right, so. I am going to do us the favor of beginning, as we always do, with the uh, plot synopsis. Yeah, while I look for this uh, interview, this time, while I look for this interview with Nomura wanting fat anime titties for, for Tifa. Oh, there it is. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, she actually found it. <laughs> yeah, I found it. Here it is. Oh, my God. Yeah. I tell you, Nomura wanted fat anime titties for Tifa, and Square Enix told him no. 
So, first of all, it feels like Square Enix is just kind of dumb, but also because of how you phrased everything, it also feels like Nomura is kind of dumb. So I don't know who's dumber here. Roots, I have a lot to say about this movie. It's, God, it's just... Man, that's that's an interesting... Uh, that's just interesting censorship here. But... Whatever. I'll, I'll, okay, I was gonna I was gonna start reading this, but I should focus on freaking Bloodshot. Yeah. <laughs> or or or, okay. or so. Wait, wait, in some country, this movie is called Up Venom. Okay, so you know what? At this point, though, Austin, I think I think from this point onward, I'm just gonna start reading the plot synopsis from the Wikipedia page, okay. and then we'll just go from there. Okay. Okay. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's the way to start it. Okay. I, had to, I, had to, I had to prepare. <laughs> prepare? But, um... Me, my, mo, whatever the hell the voice prepare warm-up thing is. Um... Okay, so... Shout out to everyone that stuck out okay, the song so, for the Bloodshot spoiler cast discussion. What now? Shout out to everyone who stuck out the song for a discussion about spo- okay. for the spoiler cast. Okay, alright. Okay, I'm gonna start reading this. Yeah. So... It says here, after leading a successful rescue mission in Mombasa, debatable, <laughs> uh, U.S. Airman Ray Garrison and his wife Gina travel for a holiday at an Italian beachside town in the Am- Amalfi Coast. Oh, okay. However, they are kidnapped by a group of mercenaries led by Martin Axe who demands to know the source of the Mombasa hostage operation. Since Ray is not privy to this information, Axe kills him and Gina. Okay, so... Ray is later rescued by Rising Spirit Tech, a company that specializes in developing cybernetic enhancements for disabled U.S. military personnel. The company's CEO, Dr. Emil Harding, tells Ray that he is the first successful candidate that they have resurrected using a special nanite technology. Ray is also introduced to Dr. Harding's other patients, including former U.S. Navy diver K.T. Um, initials, by the way, K and T. Whom he strikes a friendship with. Really? <laughs> okay. Uh, and former soldiers Jimmy Dalton, generic, and Marcus Tibbs, uh, also generic, with whom he gets on poorly. Did he get on poorly with? I don't know. It doesn't. I mean, it doesn't one establish one that they have a bad relationship. It's. Yeah, I mean, it's I mean, just, like, I, like I mean, like I get them being jealous because oh, he has he has magic blood while we have while all we have is robot. Ro- well, we have his robot legs, and the other guy has a robot yeah. eye. Like, like I mean, like that's real. But I was like, I was like, is that enough for you to get jealous over with? I was like, I mean, I mean, like, okay, you guys lost your leg. He lost his life. All right, there's a there's a balance for that. All right, <laughs> what if you guys lost something more? <laughs> okay, but I guess they hate him for that. You only lost your eyes. You only lost your legs, and maybe your spine. <laughs> but him, he lost, He was dead. He died. Yeah. He gets more. For, how dare more because how of dare that. he die? <laughs> Hey, look, look, if you want something like that, then you go kill yourself. Where's the Jesus Christ? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Alright. Mm. I went through that. Alright, I did that. Okay. <laughs> Fucking. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, after experiencing quote unquote flashbacks of Gina and Axe, um,. Ray escapes Rising Spirit's labor- laboratory in, well, I don't know how you pronounce this, in Kuala Lumpur, I believe that's how you uh, pronounce it, mm-hmm. and pursues a- Axe, seeking to avenge Gina's death. Using the nanites to hack into computer databases, Ray tracks down Axe to Budapest. After trapping his convoy in a tunnel, uh, Ray kills Axe's bodyguards before executing the mercenary. He's later recovered by Katie... Uh, Dalton and Tibbs who bring him back to Rising Spirit for pro- reprogramming. In truth, Harding created false memories of Gina's death as part of a plot to eliminate rivals in Rising Spirit. Um, <clears throat> I didn't think they were rivals though. I thought they were like partners or something, right? No, 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 no. They, they were, no, they were partners, but then they broke off and they're like, oh, oh, we, we can do this better. And then that, and then um, the guy that's not Michael Douglas got real mad about it. He's like, oh, I'm gonna kill. <laughs> to be fair, I thought that guy was Michael Douglas for for like the first half of this movie until I realized he wasn't Michael Douglas for some reason. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see. I was like, Michael Douglas, what are you talking about? But then I'm like, oh wait, I can see what you're talking about now. <laughs> but um, 
Oh wait, this is a superhero uh, movie. Yeah, but this is based on a super- no, it's a superhero movie. Oh god. Yeah, it's based on a comic. No, I didn't. I never read the comic. I, I, I didn't even know there was, it was a comic. Oh, don't but, worry, it's part. It's part of a cinematic universe. This can only go as well as the dark universe. God, they just... Wait, 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 just, wait, 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 wait. Every cinematic universe right now can do better than the dark universe if you think about it from that perspective. To be fair, that is very much true. <laughs> the the Actually, dark universe well, set a very high bar for you to pass. Okay, okay, okay but here's the if thing. If you can awesome. get more than two you know movies out, you than already than, beat than the, the dark, dark universe. universe. What? Do you know what was dark, worse than the dark universe, though? What? It was, uh, I don't know if they had a specific name, but Hasbro, I think it was Hasbro. It was Hasbro Universe. I think it was. Wait, is that a, just I don't a Transformer know if it was Hasbro. series? Is that just a Transformer series? No, 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 because they also were, they were also trying to do it for, um, mm, oh, I forget the name. Wow, G.I. Joe? I, I, I know there was a the, sequel, but that wasn't really a no, universe. No, 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 that no was not G.I. Joe. Yeah, I mean, that was just his own thing. Yeah. yeah. It was just one about, um, something in, uh, uh, something, like. Some someone in 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 the in the gems or something like that. You mean gems in the hologram? I, I, we, gem, yeah, gems in the holog in the hologram. Uh-huh. I think it was. Yeah, what about it? And gem and gem and gems in the holograms. I mean, there was Sedia. That was Hasbro. Yeah, that's Hasbro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's Hasbro. Hasbro was trying to do a thing too, and they tried to do a gem in the holograms, but it on, did not work at all. Has nothing to do with the theater. It's just a. To be fair, the the gems in the hologram movie that came out has is really different from the actual gems in the hologram um series. Oh, well, well, by the way, this is the gems in the hologram spoiler cast now. <laughs> didn't we already do this one? I feel like we already did. Did we? Did we do gems in the hologram? No, I think we did. How bad could it be? Right? Probably was it. We did see gem in the hologram. Yeah, I remember. Mean, I remember yeah. us watching gems in the hologram. It's. I'm just gonna... No, yeah, it was Hasbro. Yeah. No, but remember, they tried to uh, sta- like uh, they tried to do like uh, uh, a fucking. Uh, they had a mid credit scene with the uh, the the producer from from whatever the uh, the enemy thing was, and they started like you know. No, that that, uh, that, that wasn't the setting of a, ho- a center. That was the setting of the sequel because in Gems and the Hologram there was a rival band of 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 of. No, you see. No, because here's here's what I'm reading here on on the on the uh, Wikipedia for this. I know we derailed, but we'll get back okay. to Bloodshot, I promise. Okay. <laughs> but like it says here, on October twenty third of twenty fifteen, Chu confirmed his intentions to make a crossover film between Gemini holograms with Transformers and GI Joe. But due to the film's disastrous reception okay, combined yeah. with his proposal over his retrospective view on the film, plans to make a crossover film have likely been abandoned. That's the thing. They're trying to do something with this here. They were trying to do something. How do you do with Jensen Hologram? Jensen is so disconnected from Star... Not from Star Wars, but from Transformers and G.I. Joe. Like, like, like G.I. Joe and Transformers can cross over, right? That makes sense. That's... that's that's, yeah. that's that's something you can do, but but, but how does Jim fits into this shit? Jim is just about awesome. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay then. It's 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 just it's just it was just I knew this was a thing. I know they were trying to set up like the future villains and like the the next the sequel, but God. I re- I just okay. I'm not gonna focus on Gem and the holograms because I remember it being kind of bad, and I was like, oh god, what? This is nothing like the original source material. <laughs> oh hey, by the way, William, but William, anyway. the DVD release on Gem and the has twelve deleted scenes. By the way, for what? For Gem Gem and the holograms. Yeah, there are twelve deleted scenes for that movie. Do you think that? Do you think that fixed the movie? Do you think that's where one of the scenes where where Optimus Prime <laughs> shows up and tells James about about, about Megatron? <laughs> Okay, look, you can go ahead and buy that or find it, okay? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll say buy. But, like, you can go ahead and uh, buy it, right? Yeah. And edit it yourself. Edit them in and see how that works out, okay? <laughs> okay, Austin. Okay. okay. I mean, this poster is not that bad for Gem and the Hologram. Now that I'm looking at it, I forgot. I forget that All the right. poster for the movie was actually kind of nice. This is that the movie was fucking garbage. Yeah, it actually was kind of. It was actually kind of nice. But then the movie was just disappointing. Yeah, but okay. But anyway, okay. Where, where uh, we? rewind back to yeah, Bloodshot. Talk about Bloodshot. Back to the synopsis. Okay, so after his memories are wiped and reprogrammed, Ray is sent to kill Nick Barris in East Sussex, remembering, re- like, quote, 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 quote remembering yeah. him to be Gina's killer. So, though Ray manages to kill Barris and his bodyguards, Barris has forced uh, computer programmer Wilfred Wiggins to build an EMP bomb, which is ignited after Barris' death incapacitating Ray and severing communications with Rising Spirit. After resurrecting Ray, Wiggins reveals that um, Rising Spirit planted false memories to turn him into a killing machine. Ray also discovers Gina is alive but had left him five years ago and started a family in Westminster. 
So, growing disillusioned with Harding's exploitation of Ray, KT seeks Wiggins' help in taking him down. Meanwhile, Ray is recaptured by Dalton and Tibbs following a pursuit. He is brought back to Rising Spirit's laboratory for reprogramming, but escapes with the help of KT and Wiggins, who sabotage the, reprogram the reprogramming process and Rising Spirit's computers. Breaking free, Ray fights Dalton and Tibbs on top oh, of an elevator. Dude. Dalton willingly lets Tibbs fall to his death, like the dickhead he is, apparently, uh, before continuing the fight until Ray punches him down the elevator shaft, killing him. Ray confronts Harding, who manages to who manages to drain the nanites, oh, they came but is the killed year. when the second grenade he shoots at Ray is dismantled by the nanites and dropped directly at his feet. Ray is later rebuilt by Wiggins and KT, and the three then leave in search of a new life. Yeah, to meet to, to meet up to okay. meet up with Harry Potter to to get rid of schisms. Oh my God! God, don't talk to me about schism. Stay away from me. <laughs> All right. Fucking, All fucking right. Hate, fucking hate that movie just because of how pretentious it is. <laughs> All right, well, so hey, so, so the, well, shit out of the me. worst part about this movie, this movie came out came yeah. out after after Upgrade and Venom, and I don't know why, but this concept seems very done to death now because the because every other because apparently this, the concept has been better executed by this point, right? No, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, because the no, thing no, is, I've seen before. I, I, I like know, I like this concept of of of. Of I I don't know what you want to call it about about AI control human bodies to do cool stuff like 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 an upgrade because because yeah, uh -huh. upgrade was really was really cool with how they did it I think I think if you were to compare the three movie I want to say upgrades the best one does it the best of the concept uh yeah but like my thing is like okay please uh, I mean honestly, there's some cool like, visuals there's, like, there's some it, cool it's... visuals in this movie I'm not they they, they did some okay. they did some cool so, stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I think they did like and like yeah. a lot of the no but yeah but a lot of the action scenes in the movie like especially when you like when when uh, you know when Vin Diesel's like fucking wrecking shit now like especially when he goes to kill um Martin Axe I believe his name was right mm -hmm. yeah, the, yeah the first guy so so yeah he, he he's going to kill the first guy Martin Axe and so like there's this whole scene you, also I was a little tilted by this but this is a little miffed I out, out like. Um, so he takes he takes a, a, a truck that's filled with flour yeah. and he crashes it into a tunnel uh -huh. where the convoy is, so he blocks their escape, mm -hmm. and so they have so uh, um, so the team starts searching around. They're like they're they're looking around. It's like what is what is this stuff? It's like it's flour. And then there's like a seat like like then as they're tossing flares, they toss a flare uh, where it reveals the name that this is a flower a flower uh, truck. And I'm like you don't need to spell this out twice for me. You either say it or you show me the shot. You don't need to do two things at once. I am not dumb and just like thinking, oh, maybe it's snow or something. That, I was a little bit of that, but that's besides that. Okay. To be fair, the, <laughs> the flower thing was kind of distracting because, because in all, because, so I only seen one trailer of this movie, right? I, I only seen one trailer. Yeah, I saw I, it so it was, I think it was the first trailer they released where it showed him fighting, but <laughs> in the, in the um, tunnel, but, but they didn't, but they never established it was flowers. So for some reason, I thought that he just becomes Ash. Like his skin, like like I thought he actually becomes like Kratos. Oh, uh -huh. I, I I thought it was a Kratos thing where his skin just becomes ash, <laughs> ashy or, or something, right? I was like, uh -huh. oh, okay, this, Whenever this, he's using yeah, this guy, this guy nice becomes Kratos. All right, I can, I can go. No, but just thought it was just flowers. I so I felt really disappointed. I hyped myself up for no reason. <laughs> I legitimately thought Ben Diesel was playing Kratos, but but with but with Venom power in this movie. <laughs> Were you sad that he just like his, his he wasn't wearing the ashes of his dead family? Yeah, he wasn't wearing <laughs> the ashes a, a of, his, of, his dead, of his mistake. Of his dead girlfriend that's still alive. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. No, but yeah, like the action is fun to watch in this yeah, movie. Yeah, there, there's really a lot. Is. There's a lot of cool shots. What if, you, I think the best part of this movie is this. This is how you get a get through to um. Through through the U.S. censorship for films, like like if this was like so, because every time you see the cool uh, nano uh, nano nanobot nanites effect, whatever the fuck, where they're trying mm -hmm. to where they're they're the blood of his live stream, right? If this was if the, yeah, like like because that's all supposed to be like like if this if they were actual blood, this movie would have had a horror R rating so fast, honestly. Yeah, it would have because like like there's like I remember the one the that one scene where the guy had a shotgun and he blasts Vin Diesel in the face and you see like his flesh and stuff is just off mm. and then it's just like it's kind of hanging there but of course it's nanite so it's not actual blood yeah. and the nanites just start putting it back together like the Terminator yeah. which is also kind of cool mm. to be honest with you because that I always uh, that it just looked really fucking awesome yeah yeah there were there were but, a lot. Um, I, I'll give this movie like all this shot with Vin Diesel <laughs> and his um 
and his and his uh and and the nanites up were really cool. I, I dig that. The other guys, the other two guys' effects were pretty fucking lame. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, because because one of the guys ended up using, like... I think that wasn't even to his own element. Because 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 I thought that the guy that gets the the robot legs, I thought he would do like um, what's that fighting star that does that does the kicking shit? Um, the one that's in uh, that um... Eddie uses in tech in uh, Muay Thai. Is it Muay Thai? No, it's not Muay Thai. No, I it's uh, I believe it's Muay Thai, right? It's Kappa. It's, 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 uh, it's called Kappa Kappa something. I don't remember. Fuck. Uh, fighting. Uh, what, what's it? It's, called, it's like Kappa Kappa. It's, sub, it's Kappa something. Uh, that looks like the, yeah. Uh. Fighting sound that looks like dancing. That's that's just Cap Capor Aereo. I I can't pronounce this fucking word. C A P O E I R A. Whatever it is, that fighting style, okay? Whatever, whatever that fighting style, okay? <laughs> yeah. So okay. I, I thought I thought that guy mm-hmm. was gonna do some more stuff like that where he uses his his um his legs to do to do like cool stuff. Like I don't know, like maybe he had like hidden blades or something, so he can uh so he can do cool blade stuff. Like in like in um like in mm-hmm. like in uh what was it? What was the movie? Um uh, was it Kingsman one or two that had the girl with the with the um with the that was that was also um uh, amputated that had robot legs. Was it uh? I think that was the first one. That was, that was the first Kingsman. Yeah, was I was gonna. Be like, I, I thought it was gonna be like her, cause cause in that movie they use her character really well with her disability of with her with her dis- where it, they show her doing all these cool stuff moves with with her with her blade with her blade legs. So I thought that guy was gonna be like that honestly, but they ended up. But he just had ended up getting no, robot yeah, arms. But they came, and I was like, what the fuck came, is this? I, yeah, I got he, cheated. He I got cheated on this guy's arms. um. Yeah. Cause I was literally hoping, cause, cause I thought this movie was just gonna show them him like showing everyone's disadvantage and how they were gonna use it to this. Like, cause Vin Diesel's character, you often use his um disadvantage of the of him having the nanite to his to his full mm-hmm. ability. But the other two guys were like, eh, hey, here's some uh, we got body I mean, armor. There were, but we good. There was the other one where the guy like I mean it, like it's during the chasing where they're trying to bring um uh uh Vin Diesel's character Ray back into the labs when they're chasing you know when they're chasing yeah him throughout, oh yeah yeah when the, the when the eye guy put on the stupid guy that helmet yeah movie, like, so fucking stupid no yeah but that was that, yeah, but, that was cool. yeah I mean sure but like that was cool because yeah. they actually you like you know because he's blind but you know he has cameras and so he can they put cameras up in the air and then you know he could see yeah, where everything four, is. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that was cool. Yeah, that, that was cool. Like, I, I like, I like that guy. They did, they, they use his character up, but the, but the guy with the legs, they just like, they just didn't bother. It was like, they literally, like, I was like, okay, what was the point of even giving him, um, giving him, uh, uh, giving him robot legs? They literally could have just gave him robot arms, like have it so he lost his arm and more. <laughs> and and this movie would have uh-huh. been the exact same, exact same result for, for for his character. Yeah, like he he lost both his arms and then you know he has robot arms. Yeah, like that would be cool. Well, nah, 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 that would, that, would, that would have been way cool. Then he could fight with four robot arms. But you know what's better than two robot arms? Four robot arms. Four robot <laughs> <Yeah>. arms. <laughs> each one of each <laughs> each one to add to his collection. The two is co- okay. No, we're not going Star Wars look, here. Look, okay, look, he I've seen four, enough of that movie to last a lifetime. First, he has two. I've seen he, enough of that. First, he shows up two two knives. <laughs> then he shows up four knives. God. <laughs> <laughs> and, and each of those knives split into two other <laughs> knives. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. No, but yeah, that's the thing because, like, a lot of the fights is actually kind of worth watching this movie for, even if it, even if the ele- the elevator fight was a lot of CGI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was still kind of cool. Yeah, there was some good stuff, but that was really it was pretty much very really awkward at, at times. <laughs> But uh, there were some cool shots yeah, in, in that elevator fight. Yeah, because you notice fight. it. Mm-hmm. No, there were cool shots, definitely. The only problem, my only problem is that with the elevator fight, it's just like, you know, you notice it's CGI. Yeah. Like in some other yeah, instances, just, like, they, 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 they use CGI. Down, down, uh, down, down, down an elevator. Exactly. But it's like, well, they might the do, is, do, like, do, do other... that in Fast and Furious, but they won't do it in this movie. <laughs> no, but like, legit, like in, in, in other, um... Like there are earlier moments where they did use CGI, obviously, mm. but it's like it it wasn't it wasn't like it wasn't so as distracting as it was in the elevator fight. Yeah, because in the elevator fight, it's more akin to like the Matrix. Uh, um, I don't remember the the subtitle for it. The the second Matrix movie, right? Yeah. And then Reloaded. Yeah. And the Matrix Reloaded. Like, they had the, that whole fight that was all done in CGI, mm-hmm. but it's, like, it's really, really noticeable, especially now. It was impressive back in the day, don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah. But now it's, like, you notice the instances very off-putting, especially when they go back to real, mm-hmm. and it's kind of the same thing that you're dealing with now. Mm-hmm. 
and so like us with the elevator fight, which is kind of like annoying. Yeah. But you know, I still I still enjoy the fights regardless. Yeah. Now the plot is actually the thing is my only problem with this this movie honestly like because the thing is the 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 style of the movie like the visual uh, the visual style of it mm. is fine. It's I like it a lot mm. and the action's great too. Yeah. It's old school action. Mm-hmm. And so, my only problem with the movie again like it's it's an issue that I'm starting to see a lot. But it's like with this movie, this movie had a story. And it has a, and it has a good story. It has the potential to have been a good story. Mm. My only problem is again that here, they kind of, they have, they have very little character moments where it's just like okay, you know, she's she's the one who's like who says oh I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. She has a throwaway line. She later ends up she she later you know has a moment where she confronts the boss like I'm not doing your dirty work. And then you know he reasserts his power over her. Yeah. And then. And then, um, and then there's like you know she goes to do to do to do the job to get Wiggins, but of course she's not gonna kill Wiggins. She's gonna help have Wiggins help her out so that um, the CEO doesn't you know stop her from breathing. Also, that's another thing I th- I believe I we I don't know if we actually mentioned this, but KT uh, um, she isn't able to breathe. I don't remember the reason why, mm, uh, but she like I think she lost her lungs or something. Yeah, and so. They 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 basically gave her a vent mm. like in the middle of her chest so yeah. she can breathe through that and also helps to make it so that she's not affected by any kind of like toxic gases or whatever mm. so she could be in anywhere that has like something that would be harmful in breathing but she'd be fine yeah and like so like you get you get you get the CEO guy basically um you know deactivating her ability to breathe you know um she and he's like oh you know just work for me okay just fucking do that. And then you know, lets her breathe again. She goes off, does the job right, but she cap. She, she of course is just gonna use Wiggins to like help her out because he's a master coder and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's not a, a real surprise. But what happens later on, and um. So that, that's like those those are little those are little character moments, mm-hmm. but and and then there's just like. There, there's like with um, what, what, I don't, I think it was Dalton. I don't know, but it's um, it's the guy with the with the robot legs who is basically the asshole. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. But and it's like, and I guess at some point, like Ray is supposed like or Vin Diesel's character, right? Is supposed to be talking with robot legs, and so and you know they're supposed to, uh, and he's supposed to talk to the guy, to the blind guy too, but. It's not. It's not. Cl- there's like this in the Wikipedia here. It says, "Oh yeah, he doesn't get along with them." No, but in, in, I, I think when you're well, watching the movie, no, they only literally no, only yeah, had like ahead. one interaction, not counting from the moment he wakes up. It's only when when after he finished the mission and when they come back together, he Vin Diesel characters acting all smug about it, like, "Yeah, I did, I did the mission or whatever." That's literally their only character interaction, if I remember correctly. But but that's only with the guy with the with the uh, robot legs. He, I don't think like outside. of of them introduced of um of of not michael douglas of not michael douglas introducing him to everyone he, he i don't think Ben mm-hmm. diesel character ever interacts with the with with the guy that lost the eye outside of hey what's up hey what's up that's i think that's their only actual interaction within the movie if i remember correctly mm-hmm. like i know he interacted yeah. with the robot guys yeah. with the robot guy when they went to come get him after after the um after he went to kill the guy yeah yeah, and then there's like, there's like, there's supposed to be like, it says here that um, Vin Diesel's character also gets along with KT, right? And it's just like, sure, but it doesn't give a sense of friendship, you know? It's just like, you know, they just kind of have a moment, but it's not yeah. a friendship moment type of thing. Yeah, the character At building me, for that, I, for like, literally it. there's no character between Vin Diesel. The only character building we get is Vin Diesel and, and, the, and the hacker guy, because they, they, they're the only one that gets like real screen time. Yeah, that's a, like that's the same because it's like um, even then it's kind of bare bones, but it's like dude, it's a whole lot more than he gets with anybody else. Yeah, you know, and it's just like it's like uh, like as a result, like I can't I, like I like Wiggins, you know. Yeah, but we don't get a lot of him. Like, even like even his humor is like it fits, you know. Yeah. It's his humor is fine. Like it, it it never it never like I actually I actually like chuckled at his jokes. You yeah, know? but then it's it's like. It's it's so weird because like you get these character moments and it's just like, but that's all they are, just moments. They don't really build or add on mm-hmm. to the character. Even like 
with like all I really get, especially with like uh, Vin Diesel's character, is basically oh yeah, he's angry, and that's how basically everyone is like he's just angry, yeah, <laughs> right. But it's like, um, like there's just like there's there's nothing like you 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 get a guy who's angry, you get a CEO who doesn't really have a character except you know he's evil and co- he he's quote unquote evil. Yeah, he but just, he's like like I'm like I really don't understand half of his motivation. I think he was just angry that they just left him to go to a different company. I think that was it, right? Yeah. Like, the, like I mean, I guess so. But like, 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 like it's, it's, it's not Wikipedia, like it's, it says here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. It says. It says that they're rivals of of Rising Spirit. But the thing is, I always thought it was like I didn't get that they were rivals at all. Like the people that Vin Diesel was killing off. I always got the sense that they like may may have been ex partners or something because yeah. they were in a picture together. And then it's like, oh yeah, he doesn't want he doesn't want them leaving or something or yeah. whatever. But then then it's like that's the one motivation. But you're like. It, he just that's that's all you get you don't get the sense that they're just you know yeah i think he just wanted to stop them from because from, like from, the fact that since they were all partners they they also knew about his um his secret his super secret project he's like oh man i don't want anyone else to know about my super secret project so i gotta get rid of them no yeah that's the thing too but then it's like you're never told that in any way visually or actually do actual dialogue i think you know? i think i think they showed up like a photograph of them just hanging out here's a photograph of us back yeah. in 1995 when i was <laughs> hanging out yeah um, exactly in like uh, when, when, hold on, hold on, i just want to quickly look to see what's a movie michael douglas was in the 90s so i can make a reference to that uh here's a here's a movie of when i was in of uh, uh, when I was in, here's a photo of me in. Fuck, where's where's filmography? All right, hold on, all right, hold on. Fuck, hurry, 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 load the fuck up. Uh, here's a photo of me from the set of. Oh wait, that's uh, what the fuck was fucking of 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 in of in Made in America. There we go, there we go. That's not. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Here's a photo. Oh wait, hold on, he wasn't even in that movie. Fuck. Of Basic Instinct. There we go. Okay. Here's a photo of me in Basic Jesus Instinct. Christ. No, but that's just. But again, that's the thing. Like, I don't know what he wants exactly. Yeah. And the only se- the, and then it's the only time you get a sense of what he wants is maybe like when he has this um, face. Well, quote unquote face to face conversation with um, Ray, uh, Vin Diesel character. Yeah. Who um, we're talking about is like he's like it's like you like where Vin Diesel is like you did this to me. I don't like this. And then it's like, and then he he goes on to say. Um, the CEO guy, uh, em, em, like Emil. Oh, I'm, I'm just calling him. Was, I'm just who, calling Michael Douglas. That's it. That's that's the that's the. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. But <laughs> we'll get not Michael Douglas. But not Michael Douglas is basically like it's like this is all you ev- this is all you ever liked. This is you like war. You like being like this. And yeah. Then an, that was and the problem with his motivations. Like, eh? Yeah. Like it would have made more yeah, sense and, if and like his, his ex business part were like were also working on a project. Right, and they were working on or stealing like company information or something. Yeah, like 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 when they broke something off. Yeah, like when they broke off or whatever. They also took took company information, company secrets with them. It was like, oh, I can't, mm-hmm. I can't have them, I can't have them go forward with this, uh, with this, with my technology, with the technology we built, because it's mine, because I'm egotistic, like stuff like that. Like, that would have made more sense for his character, but all of his character was like, nah, I just don't like that. Like, nah, nah, this guy owed me twenty bucks. He never paid me back. I need you to go kill him. That's literally, literally, you mm-hmm. can replace his motivation with that mo- motivation, and this movie would still be the same. He owes me twenty dollars from twenty from from when, from when we were in from when we were in Basic Instinct. He never paid me back. I gave him the money on set. Jesus Christ! But you know that's the thing. This is like then you get like uh, back to the argument with, with Ray and uh, and not Michael Douglas, right? And then it's like. He starts saying, "Oh, but I, I'm the one who's doing like order. Everyone likes being in boxes." I'm like, "Where was any of this? Where was the implication that Vin Diesel's character was like this? Where was the implication that you were like this before this whole conversation? Mm-hmm. Where was this? Where was any of this?" Yeah. And this, and this is like that's all you get. And then later on, we go on with the story. Yeah. You get like basically character moments that are, that are checking a box and like. But it doesn't make sense mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> because you don't you don't you don't see any of it before. It's like you have a con- you just like you want to get this conversation to work, but you didn't do anything to build up to that conversation to actually work. You just it's just like you, you did all you you went through the you did the plot the story points, but you didn't go through the character mo- like you didn't you didn't connect character moment to character moment correctly, you know. And it's just like 
you that you just get like a confused character like what does this guy want other than you know just what i don't know why why he wants to do this and why he wants to do that mm. and it's just like I, I have no idea yeah i have no idea at all that's the thing and it's like well i like the like i like the movie fine but if you're looking for anything deeper like th- they don't also either go into the implications of like of anything of what they're doing you know yeah or they don't they don't really um they don't really dig into any of the philo- philosoph- philosophical aspects. Like, first of all, he put a dead man back to life. Mm-hmm. We're not really gonna talk about nah. that. He's just back yeah, to yeah, life. Yeah, he's back. I know. You know, he's back. And he's doing things that like really push the the bounds of humanity. And it's like, there's not a conversation on that either. And I'm not expecting it, honestly, to be to be fair with you. I'm just saying like, it's a there's a potential there. But for what we got, like, if we had like, and I'm fine with what we got. Yeah, sort of. But the thing is, like, I'm fine with like him being like the evil CEO a guy mm-hmm. who's using you know the technology for evil means or whatever. And then you know the guy who's like, I don't want to be used this way. I want to yeah. fight back against this. I want yeah, to be yeah, free yeah. to, yeah. Do, yeah. to yeah. live my Mo- life. Movies where you go against your creator, yeah. Yeah, and then maybe like the whole like, oh, but your company property deck kind of thing yeah. or whatever. Yeah, Robocop. which is also you know a thing. Because to be honest, like they did donate his buy, and maybe he like does that mean he doesn't have free will or whatever? But like. It's, it's like, you don't, I mean, for as, like, for him, like, fighting against that, and this is like, you don't, like, they want to say, they want to take an exploration of character, but they never explore that character, especially with, like, Vin Diesel's character. He's just, like, an angry guy yeah. you, uh, you, who, who they use to eliminate, and, 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 and uh, um, uh, rivals mm. of Rising Tech. Yeah. Or Spirit, I mean. And so, then it's like, after he learns about what's been done to him, then it's like you get this again back to the conversation with with Ray and Emil or not Michael Douglas, right? He says, "But you like where you like this," and then he he kind of argue, argues back, "But you don't know people like me." But it's just like the conversation doesn't work because the character isn't there, mm-hmm. and it's just like all all you get are the story bits. And the story bits are fine, but you don't get any character with it, and so you don't get substance. Yeah, the thing is, you, it's like you get like you get you get like the bone, but not the meat, mm. basically. Yeah. with this movie. But the action, the action is like I would. I watch it for the action, and then I watch it for like the visual flair. Yeah, that's fine. That was enough. Yeah, there was a cool stuff. Like, like, it's like not... I, I like how they spent like you know the the dumbest moments it was when they spent like a whole twenty second scene just established that they're in a virtual they're in a virtual room, and we just and we literally had to sit there and watch them literally the entire room get get constructed. Oh yeah, I was like, okay, I get, I get it. I was like, I was like, while well, I was watching this, I was like, all right, cool, we get it. But like, this thing, that scene just kept dragging out. I was like, all right, we got. Like I was like, I was like, oh, I was like, mm-hmm. oh, I was like, okay. I was like, I, I guess it's to show how 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 realistic he about how much false but I was like, I was like, but that scene really, that entire sequence was like, was really, really took a while. <laughs> I was like, I was like, pretty much. I was like, oh man, I was like, oh cool, it's done. All right, no, no, it's still yeah. going. It's okay, no. Oh, we, we, oh, we forgot the water. We forgot the little. We forgot the little flags on the boat. We gotta, we, we gotta show a quick little scene of that. I was like, real quick. I was like, but that scene just literally took so long mm-hmm. to for it to establish that fact. Okay, even though they clearly established that uh, that uh, that 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 they could do that. Like something more, a bit way more interesting. Out of like he actually used that technology against against uh against against uh Vin Diesel's character. Like out of he uses that technology. Like uh, I, okay, so so uh. So, so, I, so I don't want to make the Mysterio co- comparison, but like how Mysterio did it, right? Like if he did like a Mysterio <laughs> thing, uh-huh. yeah, like how Myster- yeah, yeah, like uh-huh. how Mysterio did it in in um in in fuck what? In, um, was it far from or far from, far from home. home? Far from home, right? Yeah, far from home. something like that. That would have been way more mm-hmm. cooler, right? To like yeah, to show to show his motive. Like yeah, I can make it. I yeah, you're the concept. Of, like I can make anything you want. Blah blah blah. Whatever I have access to, blah blah blah. Join me, da 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 da. Do stuff for me, and and you're right, right. And every like like mm-hmm. like like like, yeah. like 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 I control your reality and everything and all that stuff. I control what you like. I control what you feel. So stuff like that, right? Yeah. Uh huh. They did something cool. That would been way yeah, more cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The the thing is, that's the thing. They have an interesting premise, but they don't really explore it at yeah, all. Yeah. So again, you're lacking substance. The, the the action's fine. The, the the cinematography is also good, and the the comedy's all right. Yeah. You know, it's there. Yeah, well, Wiggins like, is your is your obvious comic rape, and then and then we get the then we get the other guy, the 
the uh, the 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 Indian programmer dude. Yeah, who who Ooh, works who works for, for for Michael Douglas. He was like, yeah, and, and uh-huh. he's just there as a comedy punching bag for for no reason. He's like, oh okay, yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, right. yeah. I was like, okay. It's like it, it didn't it didn't really distract. You yeah, know, I mean, it's just like I appreciate it for for it being there because honestly, otherwise the movie would have been a little dull. Yeah. To be honest with you. But the problem is they tried they Even this movie the tried to introduce two comic relief. I think that was my problem. I, like, I mean there's nothing wrong with comic relief in a movie, but like, they tried to establish two comic reliefs all at the same time. It was really weird. Yeah. Cause, yeah, cause, I cause, mean, cause, cause this movie was wasn't fine, wasn't established. Well, this movie wasn't established as being as as a comedy set. It was like so for like one comic relief character, I would have been fine with that, honestly. But then they established two, I was like, Oh, now we have a second comic relief character. I was like, Oh, okay. Then I was like, Oh, okay. I, I mean to be honest yeah. to be honest with you, Austin, I think it might have also been because they were characters in the comic and and that might be why. Oh. Again, I haven't read the comic. Yeah, yeah, I, but, like, yeah to be fair, I didn't like, even they, know they, this they, was a comic. Always... Hey, but don't yeah, worry, but yeah, apparently Jared Leto was like, originally supposed commi- to be in this movie. Hey, do you think if Jared Leto was originally was originally, he would have killed himself and then be brought back to life with, with nanobots? <laughs> yeah, for for, 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 I think he preferred to actually have turned it to to have been turned into a vampire instead. Oh, I think that might have been why. <laughs> that's why Jared Lowe spent twelve days in the desert to hunt down a vampire to drink <laughs> his blood. That's exactly. Jared Jared Lowe wasn't on a meditation trip. He was on a vampire trip. Oh my god! That's, that's why. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's why we didn't hear from him for twelve days. He's too busy hunting the vampires. God. Because vampires yeah, can sense movie technology. Is, yeah. That's why he didn't bring uh-huh, any technology like, with him. But yeah, this this movie is basically uh, it's a good old school action. Yeah, movie. I enjoyed it. It's, it was uh, so cool. See, I really like that last scene when um, when uh, Michael Douglas shot the RPG, and we and we get that, and we had, like the cool scene of the of the nanobots just stripping as the <laughs> as the as the missile just approach uh, reach gets closer. Uh, you see it start stripping uh-huh. down all the way to nothing. I th- that was a cool scene. I dig that scene. Mm-hmm. There, there was cool things like that. It wasn't an RPG. It was. Uh, was it not an RPG? It was a grenade launcher. It was a grenade. But there are cool. There, it was a grenade launcher. Okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. They they but used they used um, the nanobots yeah. to 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 do cool stuff. To, yeah. They, they yeah, didn't do just, anything just, stupid. Just, they didn't do anything stupid. Like 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 get like like start giving Vin Diesel wings, or he could turn his fist, turn his hand into a giant hammer, or something stupid like that. Like, yeah. All right, all right. Basically. Yeah. But yeah, this movie, the movie was fun. Yeah. I, I mean, it's worth the watch, and especially, like, I wouldn't buy it, to be honest with you. But if I was to watch it on TV, I would stick around and watch yeah, it. Yeah, if, if it shows so, up. Oh, there's supposed to be a sequel. Yeah, if it showed up on TV, oh, I'd watch it. All right, I can't wait for uh, this. I can't wait for this uh, cinematic I would give universe it to like, start. I don't know. What would you give it for a rating, Austin? Because I think I would give it, like, a 6. Yeah, 6. 6.5. 6.5, something yeah, like it's, that. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's a fun movie to watch, but it's a shame that they didn't really explore too much yeah i'm, I'm in in uh, i think honestly the running time might have been an issue with that too i think it could have used like uh like a longer running time maybe more more around the two hour mark mm. like two hours maybe nah. 30 minutes no nah, i think i think it was if just fine probably for just like, like a, was this movie was like 90 minutes i think it was for like a it was just a solid action flick that i was like yeah you watch it's like all right no, that's cool yeah but that's the thing, because it's like, as much as I enjoy the action, I would have appreciated some more character, some substance into it. Yeah. Which is why I'm saying it could have probably used a longer running mm. time. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's a fine movie yeah. to watch. It's It wasn't it wasn't a waste of time. Yeah. Hey, 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 how about for the next movie we watch? We watch an actual movie with Michael Douglas in it. I don't remember what he was in. What was he yeah, in? Know. Aside from Basic Instinct, because I don't, and I'm not watching, like... I'm not no, watching no, we're, that's a joke. we're not actually gonna watch a movie with Michael Douglas in it. No, we're gonna do it now. <laughs> <laughs> we, have to, we have to watch a movie with Michael Douglas now. <laughs> yeah, that's what's what, the that's most what recent movie Michael Douglas was in? I'm really, I'm really curious right now. Oh, Avengers Endgame. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's like the last movie. Was, was he in it. Avengers Endgame? Yeah, he plays that. He plays that Hank Pym. No, yeah. You see, I keep forgetting that's him because of how he looks. Hey, what, what do you think I was making the <laughs> Michael Douglas joke? No, it's like, okay, look. Okay. Look, I keep forgetting he's in that movie, okay? That's all I'm saying. 
<laughs> okay. All right. I guess that's it. All right. Oh my god. All right. Thanks for listening. Uh, coronavirus is still a thing, but this may record. So oh, wash you, your hands. You know. Okay. You know what? You know what? What? We could watch Flatliners. He's apparently in that oh, one. Okay. I can't. Nope. Oh, may, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. All right. <laughs> thanks for listening. Kate, thanks. Bye. <laughs>